Yeah. So I thought, okay, well, what can I use this for? And as I was getting the kit into shape, I thought I was going to take it on a grouse hunt. But as it turned out, you know, the best grouse hunting is in September and October. And by the mm -hmm. time I had this gun finished, it was November. And then I could see that a fall turkey hunt was probably the thing to do. And then, of course, in Oregon, we have a long fall season that ends at the end of December, unless you have private land to hunt on in Western Oregon anyway. And I did have private land to hunt on. And so we were able to extend that season into till to January 31st. And, you know, hunting the, the big thunder chicken turkey, you know, if you will, <laughs> kind of reminds me of the uh, the name of this gun, the blunderbuss. Where's that come from? You know, it comes, they think it came from the word donderbuss, uh -huh. which would be thunder pipe. Okay. Okay. And so then basically, you know, this, this gun is a thunder pipe and you know, it's, that's kind of what it is. <laughs> when yeah. I first shot it, I loaded it with 80 grains of triple F and then I primed it with a four F. Uh-huh. Like go X or shoot center or whatever. Mm hmm And I put just a very lit a very small charge of shot in it. Um just you know, conserving ammunition, I guess. But mm -hmm. I definitely using more powder than I probably needed to. And wow, it was loud. Of course I'm <laughs> shooting it in my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, that was loud. Yeah. But then I had to shoot it again too because I wanted, um, I wanted to try it on paper and see if I could sure. hit, hit my target and what my, you know, what my pattern might be. Uh -huh. But the, the funny thing about shooting this gun is that you don't have a bead, you don't have a sight. You've got to cover yeah. up what you're shooting at. Yeah, I was wondering about with that. This, with this big belt. So, real quickly, what what I did was, here I've got my target out in front of me, a turkey target on a piece of plywood. Uh -huh. And so then I come in from the side, and I'm covering up the turkey with that bell, I can't mm. see the target anymore. Yeah. But I know I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the trigger and boom, and you know, smoke, it's a big curtain of smoke, and yep. then yep. you walk up and check. So <laughs> that's what I had to do when I had a live turkey in front of me, too. I hope you enjoyed this excerpt from episode 46 of our Muzzleloaders podcast with Gary Lewis. And if you want to check out the full Blunderbuss episode, then click the link above or the links in the description, and we'll see you in the next episode.